welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking you through my um, experience with a 0.7 milliliter lip filler, um, which I had done recently, just a few weeks ago now. Um, I had 0.5 before, which I also vlogged, so I thought I might as well vlog the journey of this one. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to show you um, the piece of jewellery that I'm wearing in this video today. Um, so these are the Paris earrings from Ana Luisa, who kindly sent me these um, lovely pieces of jewellery. Um, so what's amazing about Anna Luisa is that they are a sustainable fashion brand. So they use 100% recycled gold and sterling silver in their products, which is huge at the moment. We need to all kind of join together to do our best to save the planet in any way we can. And if that means buying sustainable jewellery and fashion, um, fashion items, then we should make our efforts to do so. It's also really affordable jewellery and amazing quality, as you can see. Like, so these are lovely twisty gold hoops which I absolutely love. They just kind of go with any outfit. Really simple, but they also stand out quite a lot as well. At the moment, they have an amazing sale for Black Friday and you can find a special code in the description box of this video where you can get 10% off. So please do go and check them out. So for my outfit today, I've gone for a classic black high neck, turtleneck, um, chunky belt. I absolutely love this belt here. And some nice kind of, what are they called? Um, parachute pants, top black trousers and um, so the way that I kind of style jewellery is just by having obviously my nose ring is always in and just having really simple bits of jewellery so these earrings are perfect for that so now we'll jump into the vlog um so I had them done like four weeks ago now I think so yeah I'm going to take you through my journey from start to finish it's me again I'm off to get my lips done again it's actually been two years since I had them last done, so they're completely dissolved. Um, and I'm going for a 0.7 mil. So I got 0.5 last time, which is very natural. Um, but unfortunately the girl I go to is not free on the days that I am. So I've had to look elsewhere. So I'm going Cherry Bomb Aesthetics in Brighton, which is really well reviewed. And it's 0.7. So <clears throat> I haven't wanted one mil because I haven't wanted it to look too obvious. Obviously 0.5 is very natural. Um, so I'm really excited to get 0.7 and I think what I'm going to do is ask for a little bit more in my top lip which is naturally thinner. You can see here, my bottom lip just sticks out a bit more which is fine but I think what I would like is the top one to be a little bit more fuller and I'm going to show her a picture of how I overline them with product which will probably help um, with kind of the look that I want to go for I guess. So I'm going to go, I'm not sure how it's going to go with the mask and the swelling afterwards but I will keep vlogging and keep you updated. Okay, I just got out. I can't not laugh. It's freezing. I literally just walked out. That was super fast. So I had numbing cream on them this time. I didn't have numbing cream last time, so my lips feel a bit numb. So I think I'm not uh, talking a bit weirdly. Let me stop for a moment. So I think they look great already. She put more in the top lip. She also lifted the cupid's bow up a little bit. So the, the, that is literally pretty much how I line them. Um, they're obviously gonna swell a little bit more. I've got the aftercare thing. Um, but again, I will document. So this is literally, as soon as I've got out, just had them done. It didn't hurt too much. It's just little like pinches around the side. Um, she massaged them and then if there's any little lumps that come up, uh, which they shouldn't, but sometimes I think it can like squeeze in, then in a hot environment like a shower, you just massage them. So you've just got to keep an eye on that as well. But here we are. Okay, so here we are, it's the following morning. They're obviously still swollen as you can see, but they're actually not that bad. Like I'm happy to go out. There's no kind of bruising colouring, like there's no darker patches and stuff like this and they don't actually hurt that much um i'm still not like biting down or anything like that there's a few little lumps and bumps but they have gone down a bit they tend to go um for the first couple of weeks they could be lumpy and bumpy um but yeah we're pretty swollen but yeah as i said happy to go out like this it's actually not that bad um and i know they're gonna go down 
So yeah, this is the morning after update. So it's now a Sunday, uh, Sunday after I have my lips done. So it's been over a week now. Um, so I've been putting on lipstick all the time, um, as usual. They're a really, really nice size and shape. So I reckon the swelling has like completely gone down. And this is what they're like. And the only thing I have noticed is there's this little lump still that hasn't quite gone down. It's gone down loads more compared to um, how it was before. So you can just see here, it's like just lifted a little bit. Uh, but I did text the lady who did them and I can't quite massage them yet. I have to wait two weeks, so I'll wait another week. Hopefully it go down a little bit more and then I can start massaging this bit. Um, but it's not that noticeable and otherwise, all good so i'll do another check-in next week now because i don't think they're going to change much apart from the lump so yeah it's now been exactly two weeks since i had um my lips done so the only concern is that i have this lump still um it's gone down quite a bit but you can see here it kind of lifts uh a little bit but if i relax like you can just see it looks it's not mega noticeable so like it doesn't it doesn't bother me too much but obviously i don't really want it there um so what i've been doing is i can now massage it it's been two weeks so in the shower when it's hot and steamy i'm just gently massaging i'm hoping that that will eventually go if it doesn't in the next few days i might text the lady who did them um and see what her advice is but in general they look so much more even like my top to but the bottom lip looks really even I'm so happy with like the size and they look really natural still so feeling really confident with them and yes this is two weeks after they have initially been done okay so it's now been four weeks um since i had the lips done overall i'm really really pleased i absolutely love the size and the shape of them and um, the lump has gone down quite a bit i've been massaging it um, as much as i can but it's still not fully gone so if you just see her it's still there uh I have hope because it's going down um so i'm just going to keep an eye and hope that it continues to go down um overall i just love the the shape and the look so unless it's really pointed out it's not that obvious um so i just want to say as well i'm wearing these gorgeous earrings from anna louisa um these are the celeste earrings you've got a lovely star over here and you've got a lovely little moon here they're ever so sweet Um, so don't forget there is a 10% discount code for Anna Louisa Jewellery in my description box as well. Definitely go check them out. Thank you so much for watching my video guys. Hope this helped anyone that's hoping to get their lips done or kind of curious about it. So please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye.